The Age of Ultron is coming and we are getting pumped. At this point, Avengers Age of Ultron is like the light at the end of the tunnel for me. It's like the gold at the end of the rainbow. Basically, I'm saying that it's the thing that I'm just setting all my hype around. I'm hyping up for this movie like crazy. And now we have our final trailer, along with the official poster and all the character posters. This is the home stretch, my friends. So the trailer starts out with James Spader as Ultron once again giving a monologue. He's talking about how he was designed to be a peacekeeping machine, like I said in my video about the first trailer. People look up in the sky and see hope. I'll take that from them first. So I was pretty much right. He sees that the only path to world peace is to wipe out our imperfect human race. That is pretty much the story of Ultron in any iteration you're gonna see of him. Comics, TV, movie, whatever. That is pretty much his spiel. Then we get a nice look at the new Avengers Tower. It looks great. You remember in Winter Soldier, we kind of got a sneak peek of it. And that was about a year ago. So how long now has Stark Tower actually been Avengers Tower? I'm not sure, but something tells me that this building is going to get wrecked in this movie. I don't think it's going to look as as nice as it does in this shot by the time the movie is over. It's too nice looking. Here's something new that I have questions about. That one shot of Bruce Banner and Natasha Romanoff? Where did that come from? I don't remember there being a relationship between these two characters in any iterations of the Avengers I've seen. I'm not saying that's a bad move. I actually like it, but it's just so out of left field. Maybe that's why I like it though, because it's a nice twist. However, Black Widow is a pretty shady character. I can never really trust her, at least until I know more about her past. And everyone's saying that this movie is going to dive into her past, so who knows? As for right now, now though, I think Bruce Banner better be careful. Moving on in the trailer, after that, we pretty much get the same vibe that was given to us in the previous trailers. Worldwide chaos and destruction and the Avengers are gonna fight and there's gonna be a lot of fighting and everything's gonna be huge. This movie better be at least two and a half hours long. By now, we all love that shot of the Avengers going, ah! If you look closely at that shot, you'll see a couple of human soldiers that are about to get their ass kicked. Spoiler alert for Captain America the Winter Soldier, my guess is that those guys are Hydra soldiers. I'm pretty sure this movie is going to start out with the Avengers fighting Hydra and Tony Tony Stark building Ultron to help them out. That makes sense to me. One thing that I really like about Ultron is that he really looks menacing. He looks evil. I guess they're sticking with him having a real mouth instead of that weird open mouth design that I'm used to. I'm fine with it though because they nailed everything else. Ultron is enormous. He's eight feet tall. That one scene where he's calling all the drones and he's doing that evil laugh and it shows that now he can fly? This guy is in it to win it. He is just, he's unbeatable. I'm pretty sure that Ultron is going to be a very memorable character. That's how Marvel's making him out to be. Very smart. That is usually how big action sequels are though, isn't it? They're all about the villains. Think about it, The Dark Knight was all about the Joker. Star Trek Into Darkness was all about Benedict Cumberbatch. And this movie is going to be all about Ultron. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. The thing that has me really scratching my head is Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver. Because I guess it's been confirmed that they are initially on Ultron's side. That doesn't make sense to me. If Ultron's goal is to wipe out the human race, then why is he even giving them two seconds? The only real reason I can think of at this point is because they have powers. For a while, I thought they were inhumans, but I don't think that's the case anymore. I read that that they got their powers because this guy from the mid credit scene in Winter Soldier was experimenting with Loki's scepter? I don't know, it'll be explained in the movie. There's one shot we see where Scarlet Witch is using her powers on Black Widow somehow. I have a feeling that Scarlet Witch may have a big influence on quite a few characters in the film. Ooh, wait a minute. I just figured something out. The Hulk was controlled by Scarlet Witch, right? We don't know for sure, but it's what we all think right now. And Scarlet Witch also used her powers on Black Widow somehow. What if that has something to do with their relationship? Connections? And there's one more thing in this trailer that I have a few things to say about. At the very end, we get our first and probably only look at Vision. He's played here by Paul Bettany, who has been the voice of Tony Stark's AI Jarvis since the first Iron Man film. I love how Marvel isn't letting us see Vision. I always love it when Marvel teases stuff. Like they didn't really show the Hulk until the second trailer to the Avengers. They didn't show us too much of Venom in the trailers for Spider-Man 3. We still haven't seen the thing in the new Fantastic Four yet. Marvel loves teasing stuff and I love them for doing it. It's a very good marketing play. Vision is probably going to kick lots of ass just like this movie. So the third and final trailer for Avengers Age of Ultron. What was your favorite part? And what are you doing to hype up for this movie? Whatever you're doing, go ahead and leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe.